Well, hello and welcome back to New Romantic Cocktails. If you don't know it by now, I'm gonna say this every single video, but if you don't know it by now, my name is Sophia McGlue and I am a musician. I released my debut album in 2021 and it was titled New Romance. And I have a side passion of making cocktails. So I decided to bring my two passions together and create a cocktail to go with every single song off of that album, New Romance. So we've done most of them by now, but we got a few left. And today we will be making a cocktail for the song Saturday. So today we are making a cocktail to go with my song Saturday. This is one of the singles off of my debut album. It came out in October of 2020. I also have a music video for the song Saturday, so if you haven't seen that already, go check it out. I pieced together little videos that I had been filming throughout a year and kind of um, brought that in all together into a music video and I think it came out really nice and it's kind of indie, kind of like laid back. Um, which is perfect for the song because the song is very laid back and has this beautiful kind of like dream poppy kind of sound to it. And when I was starting to record my album, I had all I had a few songs that I already knew like I had already written, I already finished that were going to go on the album and Saturday was one of the ones that I wrote at the last minute. Um, and I think it was just like such a easy song that came to me. Um, I had some beautiful chords together and the lyrics just kind of fell into place and I love this song and it's definitely one of my favorites like of all time. I, I just, I'm very proud of this song. So, the song is pretty much about seeing somebody that you do not know, you've never talked to and getting that instant feeling of like, I want to know you better or uh, like, like what are you, what are you doing this Saturday? Like I want to. I want to meet you. I want to go on a date with you. You're dreaming about somebody you don't actually know. You want to go. You want to progress this story in your head that you're making up and it it can either hurt you or or not. Who knows? Romanticizing is good sometimes, but um yeah, it's kind of like you don't actually know this person, but you're putting together a romantic romantic storyline in your head. So that's kind of the gist of the song. <laughs> it's really tough to explain, but hopefully somebody can understand that when they're listening to the song. So what are you doing this Saturday is kind of like asking them out on a date. So for this cocktail, I decided I would do kind of like a brunchy date night kind of drink. Um, and so I thought the espresso martini is kind of like a perfect date drink. Um, because it combines cocktails and coffee. Because a perfect first date, I think, is like a coffee, getting coffee together or getting a cocktail together or just like going on a walk together, something like that. So that's the idea for the cocktail. Fancy espresso martini. It's not just going to be a basic espresso martini because I don't want to keep it basic. We're going to do an elevated espresso martini. So I got the idea from Anders Ericsson? I don't know his name. That YouTuber. Anders, <laughs> who makes cocktails, to do a cognac espresso martini. But I'm also going to add some other things into it, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I've never actually made an espresso martini, so this is my first time making an espresso martini with real espresso. I went to my local coffee shop and I picked up some espresso, so we're going to see how it goes. So enough of me talking, let's just get into the cocktail. So starting off, we're going to do one ounce of Mr. Black. So Mr. Black is a cold brew coffee liqueur, it's really good, so if you want something that's less sweet than like Kahlua, this is definitely the route to go. I feel like most um, modern bartenders like who actually care about the drinks that they're serving are using Mr. Black. So let's do one ounce of Mr. Black. And then we're gonna do one ounce of cognac to spice up and bring new flavors to this cocktail. And then it's one ounce of espresso. But if you don't have an espresso machine, just support your local coffee shop and pick up some espresso. 
And then we're gonna do a fourth of an ounce of simple syrup. If you, you can use a richer simple, simple syrup or use like a demerara or um, a different sugar. Brown sugar might be really good, but I didn't feel like making another new simple syrup, so we're just gonna use plain simple syrup one to one. So I did a cocktail event last night, and I have all these like extra orange peels, so I thought I would add some orange. I'm just gonna, you know, add the fragrance, like the oils, but actually discard the actual peel. It's expressing orange peel on top. I'm also gonna do a few drops of chocolate bitter, Scrappy's chocolate bitters. We'll do like three. Just ran upstairs and grabbed some ice and my chilled coop. And let's add the ice to the other tin. Pour in our concoction. <laughs> and we're gonna shake that. Ooh. And let's strain that into our chilled coop. Glass might have been a little too big, but it's looking pretty good. It's got like a nice little head to it. Instead of doing coffee beans on top, I'm gonna just grate some dark chocolate. This is 85% cacao, so it's really dark. Also express another orange peel. Ooh, smells so good. Let's grate some cacao. Looks good enough. And there it is, the Saturday espresso martini. A perfect brunch date cocktail. Mm, so it smells really good. It smells very orangey, which I love. I love the combination of orange and chocolate. I know a lot of people hate it, like my mom. So sorry, mom, if you're watching this. Um, but I like it, and it looks pretty. Let's try it. It's nice. Uh, I honestly have to say espresso martinis are not my favorite because they're very watery to me. I don't know if there's a secret to it, but whenever I have one, I'm like, it just tastes like I'm, it kind of tastes like I'm drinking watered down coffee with sugar in it, which I kind of don't like. I know some people like that maybe. I think the orange adds like this really nice flavor to it with the chocolate bitters. It kind of is more interesting than a basic espresso martini. And the cognac is like a nice step up from the vodka. Um, it gives it a little bit of a fuller body. Um, and it plays really well with that coffee flavor, that little chocolatey flavor, and that orange flavor. Um, so altogether, it's a really good cocktail. If you like espresso martinis, you should definitely try this out and see how it differs from, you know, your regular espresso martini. Maybe you'll like it better. I think it's better than espresso martini. Um, just a little bit. <laughs> the cognac is like the main reason I think it's a little bit better. But the orange, I also love the flavor of that it adds. Yeah, it's nice. It's kind of refreshing. The orange is like a beautiful, <laughs> I love the orange in it, I'm sorry. And the chocolate is not overpowering. It is, it just like adds that cacao-y kind of, <laughs> how do you explain that? Like, it's not like milk chocolate. It's not like you're adding milk chocolate to it. It's not a mocha or anything. It's just adding like a nice nuttiness maybe. Like a, like a bitter nutty, nuttiness to it. It's 85% cacao. It's not like <laughs> Cadbury or Hershey or anything. Yeah, that's it. That is an espresso martini, my way for my song Saturday. So if you haven't listened to it already, go check out my song Saturday and the rest of my songs off my album. This is a replication of my album cover. Um, and when you're listening to the song Saturday, whip up one of these espresso martinis and sit back and enjoy my song. 
and the cocktail because it's delicious and it rocks. See you next time for another new romantic cocktail. Enjoy. Oh.